guys and welcome back to my channel ah, did you guys catch the little intro that i made for you guys i also made a little outro so make sure you guys stay tuned to the end of the video but comment below if you guys caught the new little intro i actually made it myself you guys and it was so easy to make um maybe i can include in one of my vlogs how i made it for any of you guys that are trying to start youtube channels because it was literally so easy to make and so cheap um hold on my lips are looking a little crusty so i need to put on some oil or something um I was actually gonna hire someone to make me a little intro like that because I had no idea how to do it but I found this like website it's called Canva and it was so easy to make on there so maybe I can show you guys how I made it for any of you guys that are trying to start YouTube channels anyways you guys today I am bringing you guys a get ready with me we actually have a video shoot it's gonna be kind of a get ready with me and my nine month old because I'm also gonna be getting Sophia ready for you guys and I'll show you guys how I get her ready usually I would get her ready first something I can be in because I know people are gonna be like oh my god how can you get yourself ready instead of your kid I usually get her ready before I get even myself ready hold on I feel like this camera is like not focusing but um for the sake of the video shoot um she is a nine month old she's all over the place crazy and stuff so um I'm gonna get her ready last because I don't want her to like mess up her dress or anything but usually I would get her ready first not that it really matters I feel like but Anyways, you guys have been asking me for makeup videos for a while now, and, I ha and I'm i finally bringing you guys a makeup video. It is long overdue. Um, I feel like I love these get ready with me videos because I can actually sit here and chat with you guys, and it just feels like we're on FaceTime. And this kind of like reminds me of like my old videos. I used to do a lot of get ready's with me in the past. Um, so I'm using the Touch and Soul Pretty Filter Icy Sherbert, Sherbert Primer looks like this and i just applied it all over my face i already have my brows on and i already have foundation on my forehead so that's why i am not applying any there i have about one hour to get ready i have my iced coffee here so we are set to go and you guys if you guys are coffee drinkers you guys need an espresso because ever since i got my espresso i literally don't go to starbucks and my coffee tastes 10 times better maybe drinking it like it's water but it's so good <laughs> um i'm only gonna drink one though because if not i'm gonna be having to use the restroom when i go do my video shoot I also lost my cute little straw on my lid, so we're using that straw. Going in with the NARS foundation. Hopefully this camera's in focus because our camera, I feel like, has been having a little bit of issues lately. So hopefully I'm in focus, but I'm using my NARS foundation. Going in with this little beauty sponge. This is from... This is from my friend's um, brand, Shop Be A Beauty. So I will link her below. You guys can check her out. She has sponges, lashes. I will have her linked down below. But this sponge is actually pretty cool. And it's super, super soft and squishy. So cool. I'm going to use the butt of it. And go in and just blend out my foundation. Like I said, I already have foundation on my forehead. So I'm not going to be putting any there. But yeah, you guys. Um... I'll be showing you guys my dress. There's a little hair. I'll show you guys my dress and everything. I kind of wasn't sure if I wanted to wear this just because I felt like it was a little bit too much. Like, you guys will see right now when I show it to you. But I'm going to wear it anyways. I'm going to go all out. I want my hair to look good. My makeup to look on point. And Sophia has like a little dress to kind of match me as well so i'm super excited and you guys every single week when i upload videos if you guys have not noticed i have a brand new upload schedule and i've actually been doing a good job at like going with the schedule so i'm now uploading videos tuesdays and thursdays on my channel so on this channel right here that you guys are watching this video on and then on our couples channel, if you guys did not know me and didn't have a couples channel together, I will also have it linked below. It's always linked below. Make sure you guys check it out. Um, on our couples channel, we're going to be uploading Sundays and Wednesdays. So you guys are going to be getting four videos a week from us, which is honestly a lot, I feel like. Um, let me know if it's too much because we can always change up the schedule. Because we're doing so many videos a week... Um, every single video that i upload you guys definitely like leave me some video ideas because i'd be running out of ideas on what to film so leave me video ideas on what you guys want to see for thursday's video you guys are going to be seeing this video on tuesday 
So let me know what you guys want to see for Thursday's video. I was thinking of finally filming my baby led weaning video. So I have two baby led weaning videos I want to film. I'm going to film first like uh, what she eats in a day, I think. And then um, I will film a how we got started with baby led weaning. Um, what our baby led weaning essentials are, all of that good stuff because I feel like that would be such a helpful video for people that are starting, for all my mommies that are starting on their baby led weaning journey. But definitely let me know what video you guys want to see for Thursday. Is someone calling me? I have no idea who's calling me. Anyways. Too Faced Born This Way Concealer and this is their super coverage concealer. If you guys want to see more makeup content, I do um, upload a lot of makeup content on my TikTok, so definitely make sure to follow me there. I'm thinking maybe I could do these get ready with me's like once a month. So we can have some makeup content on here as well because I know you guys do ask for it. I have showed you guys how I make my iced coffee on like my Instagram stories. But let me know if you guys want me to include it in a vlog as well because I haven't shown it on here. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to cream contour and then I will set my face. Seriously, having these eyelash extensions helps out my routine so much. Like, it speeds everything up so fast. Like, I can be ready literally in, like, 10 minutes and, like, it'll look pretty glam because I have the eyelash extensions. Using this Beauty Creations concealer. And I'm going to go in with a brush. Take it on the back of my hand. And I'm going to use this to cream contour. Taking it on the tops of my cheekbones. Oh, I don't know why. I'm getting like a weird spot right there. Does it ever happen to you guys when you guys do skincare before like makeup? Like it'll make your makeup like kind of sit really weird. Oh, that's okay. It's actually blending out now. Last night, um, I was getting everything ready for the photo shoot, right? Or for the shoot today. And I was getting my outfit ready. Sophia's outfit ready. Daniel's outfit ready. And I realized that I forgot to get my nails done. <laughs> and I remember, I don't know if it's like my mom brain or what. I remember all week I was like, oh, okay, on um, on Sunday, I'll go get my nails done really quick in the morning. And I completely spaced out. And literally yesterday, I kind of took it, not like as a rest day, but I kind of took it as like a reset day. And I was like, mm, okay, I'll just edit the stuff I need to edit today clean up the house, organize. I finally organized our pantry and it looks amazing. And I completely spaced out and forgot I needed to go get my nails done for the shoot. So I was like, shoot, what am I gonna do? So I ended up um, just going to the store and getting croissants. And they actually don't look that bad. They actually look Honestly, maybe even better than when I go to the freaking salons and they always fuck up my nails. Like, the worst thing ever is, like, when you go to the salon to get your nails done and you end up leaving unhappy with less money and you're just sad. Like, dude, I'd be going to the salon. Yay, mommy time. Like, pampering time, self-care time. Because seriously, like, having my nails done, like... It might sound like maybe dumb. I don't know. If you're not a mom, you probably don't understand. But it's kind of like my self-care. Like if my toes are good, my toes are taken care of, my nails are taken care of. I actually like, I, I feel better about myself. And I'd be going to the nail salon and I leave unhappy. I'm like, shit, like this was supposed to be my relaxing self-care time. And I'm so unhappy with my freaking nails. I'm just making sure it is blended out. Lighting in here I feel like is not doing me justice. Blush, I'm using Mykonos from Buxom Cosmetics. This is like one of my favorite blushes. I've been using it for literally years. I did a sponsorship with them like a couple years back now. And I still use this blush. Still like one of my favorites. I go pretty ham with the blush. But I know it's going to look amazing in the end like the final product. I like to bring my blush all the way up. Like that. 45 minutes to an hour to get ready because I want to make sure I take my time on my hair because my hair is like the one thing I feel like I can't really do that well. And I finally got the Dyson Airwrap and I actually do love it. I don't know if it's worth $600, but I actually do really like it. I think I'm getting the hang of it more. I feel like I'm starting to find out like or figure out the ways to like get my curls to last. But I feel like on my extensions, like it doesn't last as well. 
So um, I might just curl like my extensions with like a regular curling iron or like a wand and then do like my real hair with the Dyson. Sorry, I have like a big mirror in the front of me, like in front of me. So I'm using that to make sure I look good from far away because do you guys ever do that? You guys look at yourself like up close and then far away as well just to make sure it looks good. Some powder. I'm using the One Size Beauty. Um from Patrick Star, and I'm gonna blend out my concealer and just set everywhere. And I really press the powder in. I apologize in advance for all the weird faces I make while setting my makeup. Also, I'm super happy today. Things have been going really well lately. And things I feel like are finally starting to look up. Okay, now that I set underneath my eyes, I'm going to just set the rest of my face, especially. In areas that I crease, not underneath. It's so like my smile lines, my mouth area. I'm going to be doing a little bit of eyeshadow, but nothing crazy because I do have the eyelash extensions. So, um, you can still do eyeshadow with eyelash extensions. I just feel like I'm already, it's already 6 or 1230. I gotta leave the house by 2. You know, I'm planning with my parents really soon. I'm just waiting to see when my dad is available. Or the, like the past couple weekends, we have just all been so busy like doing our own thing. Like usually we hang out with my family a lot because we live super close to them. But um, I feel like these past couple weekends, we've just been so busy. My dad was busy dealing with some stuff. I was busy dealing with some stuff. So I feel like I haven't even really seen my family this week that much. My mom is over today though. She's taking care of Sophia or she's helping out with Sophia today. Um, Cause me and Daniel have like a couple videos we need to film. And then she's giving me time to actually take my time getting ready for the shoot. So my mom is kind of like our official babysitter. Um, but she loves to come and help out with Sophia. They're like little besties. Ooh, that looks good. Yes. I'm going in on my forehead as well. So because my mom is here, I'm actually able to take my time getting ready. If not, I'd be having to rush because... Sophia's, uh, now, that, now that she's nine months old, I used to be able to get ready with her very easily. But, and still, like, I manage, you know, like, you have to get it done. Like, when you have to get shit done as a mom, you have to manage. Like, regardless. But I used to be able to do it so easily. Like, I used to just lay her on her little play mat thing. And she used to just chill up. But now, girl, she's like, girl, I am not going to lay here. She's, like, all over the place. So now she does not just want to lay down. So while I get ready, I'm like, shit, she's all over the place, you know? So sometimes she has like this little play area in the living room. So sometimes I'll just go in there with her and get ready. Because that way she could be all over the place. But it's safe, you know, in there. She's not going to get hurt. Like if she, she can't really be all over the place here because there's a bunch of things that she could put in her mouth. Is it raining? Stop. I thought it was raining because I heard like a loud noise. But it's just the, the trash man, the garbage man coming around. Did Daniel take out a trash can tomorrow? Yesterday? I really hope he did. I called Daniel to go find the trash man, but I don't know if he found him. So I think we're left with just a bunch of trash this week. Has the trash guy come? Yes, I heard him. Daniel forgot to bring the trash can out. So we're stuck with a bunch of trash. Guys, I'm going to keep it really simple, guys. It's already 1240, so we have to kind of speed things up a little bit. Take a little bit of concealer. And the way I do my um, eyeshadow with eyelash extensions, I literally just close my eyes, so... I'm gonna take some concealer, put it on my lid, light shade, and put it on my brow bone because it's just a white matte shade from the James Charles and Morphe palette. Then I'm gonna take um, like a shimmer shade and put that in my inner corner. Usually I use like a, a matte shade as well. Usually I use a matte shade for my inner corner as well. But for the sake of the photo shoot, I feel like it'll look nicer if I have like a little bit of like something. Now I'm going to be taking, I think, this shadow right here. And just blending it 
pretty much everywhere. Bring it all the way up to my brow. So just like that. I don't think I want anything too crazy for my eyes today. I'm gonna spend most of my time doing my hair because my hair, I definitely want it to look nice because I feel like for every shoot that we do, I always hate the way my hair looks and then it makes me hate the video. <laughs> like when we did our pregnancy announcement video, like, oh, there was like one little pelito that was bugging me so bad. So I, as much as I loved the video, I was like, oh, I hate that pelito. I wish like I would have brushed it out or something. But our videographer, our photographer, he's, he's pretty good at telling me, hey, like that hair or this and that. But also he's a man <laughs> he's not a woman so like i feel like he won't know that much you know he can only help me out so much i have to make sure my hair looks good myself pretty sure after we do our shoot we're gonna go eat somewhere so if you guys want to see behind the scenes of our intro shoot that video will be up on wednesday on the couple's channel i'm gonna bring my parents on to the channel because i feel like i've been doing a lot of like mommy and like vlog content so I wanted to switch it up for a little bit, but let me know for sure what you guys want to see. Because you guys are the ones who matter. You guys are the ones watching the videos. I'm going to be doing a little bit of highlight today just because we are doing a photo shoot, like I said. Honestly, I haven't even really been into highlight. Is highlight even a thing anymore? Like, are people, do people even do highlight anymore? I usually just highlight my nose. I'm just taking a big brush. Making sure... Everything is blended. Nothing looks crazy. No crazy lines. I'm going to set my face. Fenty Beauty Dewy Mist. I think that's what it's called. To set my face. And this is what my makeup is looking like. Now that my makeup is all done, I'm going to go and do my hair. And then I will show you guys what I'm looking like after. And then I'll also show you guys my dress and Sophia's dress. Okay, you guys, don't mind the messy restroom because I was just doing Sophia's hair here. But my hair is all ready. I'm about to take down my little clips so I can see my curls. But this is my dress. I literally paid like less than 30 bucks for this dress at Windsor. So cute. And then for shoes, I just have these cute little shoes from Zara. These are super comfortable to walk in. Just a small little heel. And literally, I'm telling you guys, so comfortable to walk in. I'm just going to do my lips really quickly. And then I will pretty much be all done, you guys. I might. I think I'm just going to line my lips, you guys. And then um, when I get to the place, then I'll actually fill in my lips. Because I might wear gloss. I may or may not wear gloss and I don't want it to get messed up if I put it on right now. My favorite lip liner from NYX in the shade natural. Fill in the rest of my lips later on because like I said I don't want my lips to get messed up. Now I'm gonna take out all the clips. Hopefully my hair looks good because I'm still learning to use my Dyson. Um, but I used my Dyson and I also used my regular, um, just like a regular wand for some of the curls. Just because I'm still learning to use the Dyson, I don't want to end up like with my hair not looking good and then my shoot is, you know, about to happen. Or our shoot. I cannot wait to show you guys Sophia. She looks so freaking adorable. So I am going to title the video, like, Get Ready With Me and My Nine Month Old, but realistically, um... Kind of just to get ready with me and then I'm going to show you guys what she looks like. I am probably going to brush my hair or my fingers through my hair. But I'm not going to do that till like closer when we have the shoot because it's barely going to be two right now. And our shoot is at four o'clock so just a couple more hours. So I don't want my curls to fall too much. So I'm going to leave them as they are now. And then obviously before the shoot I will brush it out. And this is what my hair is looking like, you guys. Like I said, I am going to brush out my curls um, before the shoot. Like the front pieces, I definitely want to brush out. But for now, I'm going to leave it because our shoot is not for like another two hours. My hair actually looks so good. I'm obsessed. Hopefully, it looks this good for the shoot. Hopefully, the curls hold up. There's like one weird, weird curl in the back, but it's fine. I'll show you guys what Sophia looks like because she looks freaking adorable look at how cute look how cute my baby looks look at how cute 
am trying to find her shoes, but I cannot find them anywhere. So she may just be wearing these little socks. So cute! Such a cute lady. Look at her dress. Um, her dress is from Dillard's, you guys. Their list has like the cutest little baby girl clothes. But you guys, so I think that it's going to be it for this video. Um, if you guys want to see a behind the scenes of our intro shoot, that will be on the couple's channel on Wednesday. So definitely stay tuned. And thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Give this video a huge thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below if you guys are new to my channel and do not want to miss any more videos. And let me know what video you guys want to see on Thursday. And I will see you guys on Thursday's video. Bye.